obviously it's all good to have somebody else that uh, doesn't live here to come in and uh, all of a sudden be standing mum and standing wife. And I think she's done a pretty good job of that from the first day. I'm open-minded to it. I'm going to give it a go. It doesn't really make me feel that uncomfortable having so many practices which are in my house. At the start, I thought it would be, but after speaking to her and that, you know, it's not really that bad. She's not an alien or anything. I think she has a really beautiful heart. I think she's very open-minded and free-spirited, and I think, um, yeah, I just think she's overall just a really top cheek. The love that they have for each other is amazing, and it makes me miss my children so much. I just want her to, like, stay here and then my mum come home as well so they could be, like, best friends because I like Michelle and she's really nice. It's fun, they're energetic. Sometimes a little inappropriate for their age. Mm. How's it going? There doesn't seem to be any communication between what the children are doing and where they're going and who they're going with. And as a mum, that frightens me to think that my children could be out there and I'm not sure what they're doing. I just hope that I can bring some, maybe some structure to the home and that they need to be aware that there's consequences and you can't just go trancing off over the place. So I have come to a conclusion that she is nothing like she's pretending to be. And she's going to, like, change the rules and make us do, like, heaps of housework and be nice and, like, quiet and stuff. Michelle is pretty cool. Like, she's funny and stuff and she's not mean. But I think that's because she's been following our rules. Tomorrow she might be strict. I think my main concerns are that when it comes to rule change, they're going to rebel and there's some pretty drastic rules brought in to try to uh, obviously help my kids understand um, a bit more respect and, and I guess to accept a, a bit more responsibility around the place. And the rules like bedtime and time out, I mean, really? But not five. Well, you are. Sometimes it takes somebody from the outside looking in to um, just get across to you how important some of these little things are. And the girls did the dishes and Sally wiped off and put them away and there was no arguing, nothing. It, it was absolutely wonderful. She's pretty soft. You can get away with a lot of things, apart from bedtime. I walked out the front door tonight. I didn't want to come back here. I definitely have troubles enforcing this discipline my kids. Just what she doesn't know doesn't matter. They just got no respect for it, no whatsoever. I'm just so drained and exhausted that I just can't do it. Oh, well, the you? Because I really do love my girls and uh, they know I do and they play on that. And I'll probably continue to play on that for the next 40 years. <laughs> Maybe I just love them too much, and although it's probably not the right excuse or reason, it is, it is just a fact. Brian and Cherie, seriously, you've got to be parents. Yeah, yeah. interesting to see the change from the shelf from the first day to the last. I think she's adjusted to uh, a mixture of children. Love her. Yeah. They suck it out, they made it work. Um, and really that's what this show's all about, is uh, having a taste of other people's lifestyles. I stuck it out and I'm pretty proud of myself for doing so. It's a huge challenge.